I'm curious to hear kind of how you handled this challenge of communicating the dangers of a totally new virus when our knowledge was changing day to day. The issue with regard to communicating with the public became a real problematic issue because unlike other diseases, our knowledge of and the actual reality of the virus evolved over months and years. For example, in the first few months, from the information we were getting from China, it was felt that this was a virus that was not transmitted efficiently from human to human. That was the assumption in the first week or so. But when it got to Europe and Italy and then the United States, it became very clear that the virus was transmitted very efficiently, number one. And then as the weeks and months went by, we found out something that was very sobering, is that the transmissibility, about 60% of the transmissions was from someone who had no symptoms at all, which was really very much unprecedented in respiratory illnesses. And then as the months and years went by, the big surprise was the virus kept on changing. We had different variants. So it is difficult when the public wants definitive answers that are immutable when you're dealing with an evolving situation. So that was a lesson learned from this for the next time is that we have to make it very clear when we're speaking to the public that we are dealing with evolving, changing information. And the science is a process that's self-correcting, that when we get new information, it may differ from the information we had two, three, four, five months ago. And we've got to make it clear that that is because the virus and the outbreak is changing, not because scientists are flip-flopping.